Hey guys, it's Googly again with another video and this time I'm gonna show you guys how to flash a custom ROM on the OnePlus 60 when you are already on an Oxygen OS ROM table and uh, well, let's get started. So guys, that time is here. Oxygen OS is the primary ROM for the OnePlus 6T. Many people will be on Oxygen OS if they are planning on trying out a custom ROM for the first time. So here is a method which I use personally and uh, it's been working really well for me. Now quick disclaimer, this is the way I do it. There may be other methods available, there may be other techniques, but this is how I flash custom ROMs and it has been working really well for me. If you want to follow this, fine. If you don't, well, that's fine either. And also do not attempt to do this if you're unsure of it. I'm not going to take any responsibility for it. You have to do that yourself. I'm just going to show you guys what I feel is a very easy method. So let's get started now. First of all, let me tell you guys what all you need. First things first, I'm going to assume you already have a OnePlus 60 with unlocked bootloader. If it is not unlocked, you will have to see the guide for it. I will provide the link in the description below. Do th check that out. You will need to have an unlocked bootloader device with team in recovery. I'm using 3.3.02, which is the latest version unofficial. So these are the prerequisites which I request you to have. Now, now, depending on how you are going to flash the device because the latest version of team in recovery doesn't really support encryption if you are going to flash it and after reboot it's going to keep it encrypted you won't be able to access your internal storage for that you will need either a USB type C OTG thumb drive or you will need a PC like this one with ADB and fastboot. It's very simple. If I'm pretty sure you will already be aware of it if you have a unlocked device. If you already have all of this, pretty good. Let's go to the next step. You will need the files required. Now, these are all the files which I normally keep. Now, I'm using a USB thumb drive with OTG support to flash all these files. These are all the files which is required. Now, you will need the full zip of the stock Oxygen OS stable release. So, I'm using 9013 version. This is the full fat 1.62 gig version. You can find that here. You can download it from this page. Also, links in the description. Apart from that, you will need the team in recovery project fajita installer.zip for that you will go to the team win recovery xda page again link in the description just follow that you will have to download the installer zip next file required is the zip file of the rom which you want to flash i'm actually going to flash rr that is research and mimics pi for fajita unofficial version which i got it from here so you will have to find it from this page you will you will be able to find it download that and keep it apart from that you will need open g apps again something you can find from opengapps.org i use the nano package because it uh, has all the essential features and none of the bloatware so i like it and it is very minimal only 171 megs so i keep it downloaded apart from that you also need magisk because that's going to work out really well so you can get magisk from this link here again links in the description get it from the magisk github release page just that's just a safer way to do it that is pretty much it now once all the files you need are ready just put them all in a folder like this one i have put it all in my usb thumb drive with usb type c interface so that i can flash it directly onto my device uh, if you don't have it just don't worry about it you can put it into a folder in your desktop and you can use adb to flash all of these files so that's just how it is so once you have all the files ready the next step is to reboot into recovery now before that i would suggest highly suggest that you make a full backup of your entire internal storage i don't care if it's 256 gig full of it make a backup so that you won't stop later because it can go horribly wrong with future releases future changes with the team in recovery or anything of that sort just make a full backup of it it will only help you so just keep that in mind also don't forget the team in recovery backup just in case so once you all have it reboot into recovery that is the next step so let's go there so guys this is what i was talking about i'm on oxygen os version 9.0.13 which is a stable release and uh, well i have already unlocked my bootloader i have 
team in recovery latest version which, which is rise of now 3.3.02 and uh, yeah that's pretty much it and also you will need advanced reboot enabled as you can see OEM unlock is grayed out it is available and that is pretty much it on this side of things which you need to do you have to reboot into recovery before that just make sure that you have enough battery life in there as of now I'm, I'm having 83 percentage which is fine I would suggest having anywhere more than 70 percent which is good enough but hey if you have good battery life the better now we are rebooting into team in recovery as you can see it is 3.3.02 that is the unofficial version latest one available for our device. Now this being Oxygen OS with the earlier security patch you will be able to use your SD card so you can technically flash your first step of it from this one so it's pretty easy for it but I would still suggest having a USB drive to get through the next step so I'm going to do that myself on the USB drive but just keep that in mind first things first make a full backup as I've already said and as you know on the 60 you will have to make a backup of system image and vendor image modem EFS all of that make a backup onto the SD card if it, you can do that or you just make a backup and copy them into your computer afterwards because it's very important I also personally make a backup of all the internal files I use an application called sync thing which I will be trying to make a video on that later but it's a really cool application which syncs everything on your internal SD card to your computer of your choice automatically every night and it just maintains a backup of it it's really cool so with everything ready there let's get started first of all you need to take your memory card or thumb drive now here is the drive which I use so it's a 32 gig drive which does work out really well these are the steps which you need to do first things first I'm already on Oxygen OS 9.0.13 but you will need to flash the latest version of Oxygen OS which is on this one 9.0.13 onto both the slots for that first of all swipe to factory reset this is something which I do back now first of all install this version that is the zip file that is a full zip file for 9.0.13 let's just do that this is gonna take some time so I'm just gonna pause it here and uh, we'll come back to you later okay now we have flashed the uh, first stage so we have already flashed the 9.0.13 full zip now go back and flash the teamwin recovery installer dot zip so here we have it and we're gonna flash that so we have the team in recovery already flashed now what you need to do is go to the main page go to reboot make sure that you are on a slot just note what slot you are on so as of now I'm on slot a now click on reboot recovery now we are back on to the uh, team in recovery yeah, I, I normally do this swipe to allow notification and now just check reboot and check which slot you are on you should be on the opposite slot to what you were previously so I was on A now I am on B so that is going good so that's pretty cool go back now what you need to do is again go to wipe swipe to factory reset do not go to advanced wipe and do anything else just swipe to factory reset now go to install as you can see everything is encrypted every folder is uh, jumbled up that's because the encryption keys are not available and uh, team in recovery is not able to uh, read the internal storage don't worry that is the reason we have the SD card or the OTG thumb drive go to select storage select the UD USB storage flash the oxygen OS full zip again so that will flash it to the other slot which we flashed from earlier so swipe to confirm flash this will take some time so now we have flashed the uh, oxygen os full zip package a second time to the second slot now go back flash team in recovery again installer zip again just because well how the oxygen os and uh, new rom packages are built the recovery is actually mated to the boot.img so just uh, keep that in mind that's the reason after every time you flash a custom rom zip file you will have to flash the recovery zip file installer that just goes without saying now so now we have flashed the team in recovery a second time onto the device so we have oxygen os on both slots and that is what is meant by flashing oxygen os on both slots so this is the step till then so we have oxygen os on both slots we have our files ready now what we need to do is reboot just check the slot currently which is b reboot to recovery again we are back into recovery again swipe to allow modification just check the slot we are in we are on slot a a okay as of now now until now was the prep work for flashing the custom rom now comes the real flashing the custom ROM. Next step is go to wipe, 
go to factory Z again do not do anything with anything else you might be able to do something with the system Dalvik and data but I would suggest just keep it there swipe to factory Z that is good enough just do it now just leave it alone now next step is actually flashing the custom ROM so go to your USB drive wherever it is stored and this is the zip file for the custom ROM I'm actually using the RRPi from Louis ROM so let's just get that done select it swipe to flash it's gonna take some more time now so now the custom ROM zip has been flashed now what we need to do is again go back flash the team win recovery installer this is the next step so team win recovery installer has been flashed and now we can go back and we need to reboot to recovery again before that just check out this is the current slot now and we have to reboot to recovery again we are in slot B now so so far so good we have already flashed the zip file we don't need to wipe it again so next up is install installing G apps and magic after that after installing team recovery after installing the custom ROM zip file you need to install G app so I'm gonna do that now let's do it this will take some time now so G apps has been flashed which is the latest nano package which I use normally next step is flash magic I'm using the stable release and I recommend you use the stable release also the latest stable release is 19.2 so uh, I'm just gonna flash it now and uh, just keep your eye out for this line encrypted data keep force encrypt that's something which I always keep in mind and also the line about that which is which says keep DM ABV AVB variety which is another thing which I always keep in mind whenever I do something like this so magisk has been flashed now and uh, well that's pretty much it all that's left now is to cross your fingers and hope it has all went down good so now you can reboot the system and hopefully it will go to a page which says Android and um, well let's see yeah that is normal it will reboot once because it just showed Android and it is going to reboot now and we are now in resurrection remix rom unofficial well that's another story but there you have it that is the rom installation guide from oxygen os to a custom rom and this has worked out for me for the last couple of uh, months now this is the first part of a three-part series of going from oxygen os to a custom rom then the next part is gonna be custom rom to another custom rom and the last part which i still haven't solved yet is custom rom to oxygen os rom without losing the encryption and all that so stay tuned for that because that's gonna be coming soon enough hopefully this uh video i'm going to speed up the video just because the first boot is gonna take a lot of time so that i just want to show you you guys it is working uh, just to have a credibility and also to check myself because I don't want to throw out a guide there which is not going to work for people so yeah I'm gonna speed up and there you have it guys resurrection remix is on it's done so I'm just gonna start setting things up so yeah Wi-Fi is working BLT will also be working once I get the signal for it that is pretty much it in how to flash a custom ROM onto the 60 AB partition and all that I believe this is going to be the same with an AB partition phone so nothing much of a difference but again here it is do let me know what you think of my method and hey if you know of a simpler method you can tell me know of that I will link in the description guide on how to flash zip files using ADB because I couldn't show you guys here but if you want to see that there will be a link in the description showing you how to flash using ADB push so hopefully even if you don't have something like this which uh, this is a great godsend if you guys are someone who flashes custom ROMs or flashes stuff frequently this is a very very useful little tool you can also get a USB OTG kit like this one which I do use which is USB type C to a normal USB so you can use any thumb drive it's a very very useful tool so if you are anyone who uses root unlocking bootloaders flashing stuff just get one of these because it's just that much easier so yeah hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye